Sometimes it's a struggle to stand out amongst the crowd in the Edinburgh Fringe, but that's not really something Chris Cross from Newcastle has to worry about. The contortionist and street performer is more than willing to stretch himself to entertain an audience. Um, it doesn't actually hurt at the time because I've got that much adrenaline because, you know, it's showtime and there's a crowd and everybody's clapping, darling, um, and everybody's having a good time. Uh, but afterwards, my shoulders really ache and I've got to get regular massage and things like that uh, because, you know, when you go ahead and pop your shoulders out, you know, it's, it's, um, it, does, it does hurt a little bit, you know. I'm just born naturally weird and freaky and I just push my bones to the limits. Um, a classic contortionist has got to stretch and train and I just sort of... Um, eat pizza and have a few light shandies and manage to do crazy things with my body and not really keep in shape. This comic from Newcastle's managing to get five-star reviews while feeling rather less flexible. I've broken my elbow in football and um, I, can, uh, I can't turn it very well, but you know, rock and roll and everything. It's funny because people come up to me and uh, get a hold of my arm a lot. I've noticed because a lot of people like to touch you in this festival and go, oh, hello, how are you? And, it, and, and they always grab this arm and it hurts a lot. Meanwhile, Dan Willis from Gosforth packs in six shows a day and claims to be the hardest working comic in the world. Fun life, the beer's free, but uh, it is tough. I mean, you don't get much sleep, you have to work hard. I have to do the door, I have to set up the lights, I have to set up the sound, I have to get everyone in sit them down, sort the seats out. I'm tired just talking about it. But the shows must go on and for all of these performers, the Fringe is at least an opportunity to gain from the pain. Catherine Sampson, reporting.